thanks for tuning in to my playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It's an honor to do a playthrough of a mainline Pokemon game for your enjoyment, so kick back, relax, and have a great day. Oh. That's how we're going to start this. Okay. What's going on, everybody? My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien, wearing a Pokemon hat that is definitely not fit for the size of my head. We're going to use Gorman. I, I always feel like it's... Uh, oh, I, we didn't heal. Oops. Oopsies. I feel like I, I... Like, I say Gorman like it's a Gorton's fisherman. Like, Gorton is my immediate thing to go to, but that did nothing. Wow. All right, so let's use Vile Plume. Doom, Vile Plume. That makes sense. It rhymes. I planned it that way. No, I didn't. But this Pikachu hat, it looks not too ridiculous, but it definitely looks a little bit too, you know, I don't know. It just it just looks so big. But that's a part of the appeal, you know? That's that's We have fun here. I, I'd like to have some fun with the hat. So there we go. Um, apparently not as fast as Raticate. Raticate's actually pretty fast in general. So that actually did a good amount of damage. Cool. So I don't know what CP, uh, Doom is at now, but that would be, uh, interesting to see. So, um, this guy is guarding this poster. At this rate, the location of the Team Rocket hideout is going to be discovered. I better tell the boss. So if you just go up to this poster, hey, a switch behind the poster. Let's push it. K -k 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 you heard a sound from an echo somewhere on this floor. Then, with the power of OxyClean, there is a massive thing. There, come on, almost got it. Ah, so close. Come on, Jesse. Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on, we've already handed over the Cubone to another Team Rocket member. Oh, okay. So, oh. So that's even though it's already there. All right, I'm going to go heal, and then we'll come back. So something I haven't done this entire playthrough is actually utilize a function that... I forgot was in the game. You can have a Pokemon follow you, so if you go to here and press plus to take out a Pokeball, Gorman is traveling alongside you now. He'll actually appear right beside you as you're walking, and you can have your Charmeleon or whatever follow you. This actually comes in handy when you have a flying type Pokemon, because you actually fly with the Pokemon all throughout the entire world, and it's really cool. You get to skip a whole bunch of the buildings, and you still have to go into buildings to access them. You can't just walk past them, but they will follow you directly behind you everywhere you go. And I don't believe that they impact, um, like, if a trainer spots you or something like that. So that makes it a little more convenient. Um, I don't know where exactly to go or what the operation should be. Um, oh, you're here undercover? Okay. Good attitude. I like that. Let me give you a present. And a Team Rocket set. Oh. Interesting. Just wear it and you'll feel as if you're a Team Rocket grunt yourself. Although you're too short. Oh, okay. So they'll still spot you, but you do get a Team Rocket set. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, we just skipped by him. Cool. So clearly, yeah, they, they see... I don't know how they don't see a Charmeleon walking around everywhere, but sure. Um, oh, it's hidden under the desk. That's cool. Three Mighty Candies. That comes in handy. So this is a similar type of situation where I would go back and redo all of the trainers and try to, um, you know, get the, the all the experience I can from these guys. But I'm going to try to avoid as many as I can. But clearly we can't avoid you, good sir. I heard you can see ghosts with that silk scope. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what we're after. So I'm assuming we go back here, then I'll probably... You know, skip through, go to the Lavender Tower again, get to the top, challenge Marowak and all that. Hypno! Hypno! I forget what uh, what voice he makes, but sure. And I don't know if it helps with the, um, like with Gorman, if he's traveling behind us, if that actually impacts his happiness or anything like that. Like, makes him a little bit more keen to us uh, walking with him. Um, <clears throat> the Dragon Range does 40... And we'll do Brick Break. I'm not sure if it'll affect him, though. Yes, it will. Okay. And actually not very effective, because he is a Psychic-type 
Um, so fighting is not effective against um, psychic type. Gotcha. But now that should take care of him. No problem. There we go. And it helps that each of these trainers only have one Pokemon. So it helps keep things moving, which is great. So Team Rocket Crow. I surrender! That was easy. Where's the button? Where's the button? Here we go. Boom. That was easy. That was easy. It's very loud. You know, you don't want that to happen to go off at like, you know, two o'clock in the morning here. So how do we do we navigate to get to where we want to go? So that's gonna launch us all the way over to where we kind of don't want it to go. Um actually it doesn't matter. We'll go for this one here. So you'll keep spinning all around just like that. Continuously. And I don't have any control right now. There's literally nothing I can do. But yeah, let's go back over here. And clearly, uh, Charmeleon is not impacted by any of what we're doing right now. That nugget can be sold for big money. Big, big, big money. So, let's see here. I don't know if this is the definitive way to go, but yeah, I guess sometimes he gets caught on stuff. Awakening is helpful. Okay, I'll go over here. That way I can go and grab whatever this is. At least it's good for items, you know. Ooh, TMO5 Rest. That uh, allows you to have... Uh, you can restore your health. That's what that's good for. Let's go here. Okay, so we have to kind of predict where we're going to go here. Um, we want to go this way. Because otherwise we just reset the puzzle. We don't want to do that. We'll go this way. Down. And then this way we want to go... Um... No, we want to go... Actually, it doesn't matter. Go this way. We get launched all the way over there, which is fine. Yeah, I don't know if this is the definitive way to go, but oh well. Oh, it's just a bunch of items. Okay, so not really. Nothing really super duper useful there, but that's as good as it's going to be. We'll head back over this way. I just went in a circle for no reason. We're in a big circle. Just a big, big circle all the time. All the time. Uh, yeah, we can get back this way. We'll get launched all the way over here, but that's fine. We'll just go all the way around. So, yeah, they, uh, the Pokemon follows you around pretty uh, pretty nicely. We can't actually go that way. Oh, I'm a dummy. There we go. Okay, so now downstairs we go, I'm assuming. And I love that they kind of have a mind of their own, the Pokemon. They just kind of, you know, they kind of go about, do whatever, you know cool. I'm, tell I'm telling you, it super helps that this is in 16 by 9 so you can see items just on the sides here. Like, when it was a square screen before, it was super hard to figure out whether, oh, is there an enemy here over here, or is it just the, the way it's framed out, or like, how does it go, or whatever. Uh, that was very easy to get that. Cool. I'm liking that. A rare candy, which actually levels up your Pokemon. An entire level. That's great. I always like that. Because, um... What we could do is if I believe still that uh, Gorman will evolve at level um, 34. So even at 33, we could use a rare candy just to expedite the process a little bit here, which I am okay with. Um, oh, geez, that is super loud. Okay, relax. Adobe Creative Cloud trying to get me to update so your software works even worse than it normally does. We'll go this way. Um, that's the way to go. It looks like the way to go. Hi, trainer. Or Team Rocket grunts, rather. I shouldn't say a trainer. A trainer, proper trainer, would never challenge a small child like this. How rude. Team Rocket grunt. Ba bow, bow, meow, 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 meow. Oh, we didn't heal, did we? And that's a big old fat size. No, but it's not too bad. Okay. Hmm. Oh, uh, brick break. Brick break, brick break, brick break, break, break. Effective against uh, normal type. Yeah, I was right. Ah, remember some things in this uh, Pikachu, weird Pikachu looking size noggin. There we go. Voltorb. Voltorb. Don't self destruct on me, boy. We need to level up badly. Like, we are not doing great overall. Because I'm not doing much of, um,. Like, leveling up off-screen. I'm not capturing as many Pokemon as I probably should. But, 
just trying to get episodes done and keep it uh, interesting for all of you out there, you know? Because us wandering around catching random Pokemon isn't particularly interesting, at least in my opinion. I'd rather keep us doing actual stuff all the time. And I'm sure you can agree to an extent, and I guarantee you there's nothing down here. And this is not the way to go. Uh, actually, I might be wrong. Looks like a conveyor belt sort of area. A hyper potion. Oh, that grunt is guarding something. That means it must be important. And then a PP up, which, um, a power up is, uh, that power up is for making it so, like, let's say your move has, like, uh, the elevator doesn't work. Oh, the lift key. Cool. Um, like, let's say there's only five uses for earthquake. That allows you to up that to ten. So that's very helpful. Or it might be to, to eight. Because it might up it by three. I'm not entirely sure. Hi, Gorman. Okay, so... Against a poison type, um... I'll just do Dragon Rage, just to be safe. Just to be safe. There we go. Not too shabby. Minimize? Uh, evasiveness goes up. Uh, wow. Look how smart I am. Wow. Wow. So super smart. Sludge. That's what, um, what looks like sludge. Uh, I mean, everything in the sewer system, of course, but I had a, I thought I had a joke off the top of my head for, like, what, oh, it totally looks like sludge, but I actually don't, so that kind of just fell on its feet there, and that doesn't do that much. Oh, but it's a critical, so that's good. What does that do? Uh, defense? Uh, yeah, <laughs> look how good I am. The stuff I do know, I do know well, but everything else I don't know, so... You know, you know, that kind of uh, rhymed and, oh, okay. So he might actually not die with this next move here. If I can land one more attack, I'm fine. I really don't want Gorman to faint right now. I really don't want that. Well, come on. Eh. At least he's not poisoned anymore. That's good. I don't believe we want uh, Doom to go out, so we'll keep it with Ezreal here. Use that, use that swag power, the power of the swag, to, uh... <laughs> He's so much cooler than Grimer. Alright, Thunderbolt, his butt, his butt. Really? Oh, no. Don't tell me minimize is gonna be the, the thing that keeps us from doing anything. Please land. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Great. Uh, Ezra's up to, what, 34, 35 now? Uh, 34, on the way to 35. Okay, cool. We are absolutely, uh, la, la, absolutely reviving Gorman. Supposed to keep you from that? Guess I have my own kind of struggle. What? You just take it from you? Oh, okay. Um, I hope my bosses don't hear about this. And then he just... Oh, he tossed it up there. Okay. Phew, without the key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. Think you can get back up here? I sure like to see you try. Haha. -ha. You jerk. Why well, toss it up there? That's rude. Alright, let's heal up here. Revive. You. I just use one super potion on him. That'll do the trick. There we go. Up to full health. Look at that. It's like nothing ever happened. Beautiful. Okay, so clearly we can't go this way. So we technically... Oh, can we just... What? Do I have to fall through... Not unless you know a way to walk on top of the walls or something. Like, that would happen. Oh. That doesn't happen in the original game. That's for sure. So, Pikachu is going to climb... A step stool? Look around and see if you can find something you can climb up on this chair, even though it has wheels on it. Is that... Um, that's technically unsafe because there's wheels on it. And, uh, that could, uh, that could slip and you could fall. So I don't know how much I recommend that. Maybe if you took the, uh, the, uh, the garbage pail and put it upside down, that would work. Okay. Get the key from the rocket grunt. Oh, we can control Pikachu up here. That's cool. All right. So let's see where we got to go. We got to go all the way around, don't we? Yeah, we do. Oh, we can go this way. Oh, and hop ourselves out of the grate. I love how they don't do an animation for it. It's just a fade to black and come back and that's it. Yeah, well, this is weird. Uh, oh, no, geez. Oh, cool. That's how it works. 
Pega, pega, pega. Oh, and Team Rocket's there, too. Oh, is that, um... That's not Cyrus. That's from... Did you hear something just now? Could it be an intruder? Uh-oh. Oh, it's Meowth's hunger. That's it. Okay. So now, can I just... There, you can dive right down. Cool. Doesn't have to go all the way back again. So now we got the lift key. So I believe it... I, I didn't see the elevator, so it must be back up here somewhere. One can only assume, because they wouldn't give us a lift key for no reason. Um, yeah, we already went that way. So that's cool. Swag. Let's go. I think the lift key is... down. It must be down here. Because we're going to have to go down one to go to where the boss is, where Jesse and James are. So, maybe we face off against them? Who knows? Or maybe I could just flick uh, Pikachu's ears every single episode for the rest of the series and not actually play the game. That would be pretty cool. That would be in enticing content right there. Go on, Garmin. Go, go, Garmin. Go, Garmin. Go, Garmin. Go, 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 Garmin. Um. No, uh, Thunder type. Electric type is effective. I don't know if this will work. Yes, it does. Cool. How dare you bite me, sir? So now this Team Rocket boss is going to be especially powerful because he's going to um, be even more... Oh, great. Um, he's going to be even more powerful than the gym leader we just faced. So that's going to be a whole big thing, too. That's awesome. Um, I'll go with Brick Break just to see. Oh, please don't be confused. Oh, cool. It still worked. Nice. So now Confusion... Um, unlike a lot of the other status effects, uh, confusion wears off as soon as you leave the battle. So, uh, Charmeleon will not be confused in the next battle. It's, it basically resets, which is good. And that's a, ooh, Dark Pulse. That's interesting. Let's see if, um, uh, our Pokemon Charmeleon can learn it. TM case, uh, let's see, Dark Pulse. Oh, great. Cannot learn it. Awesome. Um, and nothing else is worth it. Great. Well, Headbutt. Right now, that's fine. That's fine. We'll find a Pokemon that can use it eventually. It's cool that we got it, though. So, usually, there's, like, a thing like that where it's like, oh, you have to do this battle, but, you know, they make it worthwhile with you actually doing... So like, you get something, an item, after you defeat that trainer. It's point proven right there. So, is the elevator over here? No, it's not, actually. It should be... I don't know, actually. Is it over here? Yeah, we didn't challenge you yet, right? Yeah, no. Obviously, because he got alerted and wants to challenge us. Duh, Brian. Yeah, dummy. Team Rocket Grunt. Number 7,502. Actually, I think uh, uh, fire types work well against uh, flying. If I remember anything for the life of me, please work. Please work. And not really. Uh, it's not that bad. Okay, don't get confused. But, I mean, he could have got burned. That could have worked out a little bit better, but no. Hmm, Dark Pulse or Dragon Rage, whatever. Same difference at this rate. Thank you. And one more shot's going to do it. Swift! It's time to get Swifty! Get Swifty! Is that a... Is that a meme the kids like nowadays? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, of course you get hit. Great. But if he uses Confuse Ray again, it actually doesn't work. So... You could use it every single time if you wanted to, but... It's not gonna actually do anything. And now that we got out of the Confusion, boom, it's gone. It, the Confusion's gone, and now... Golbat's gone. I guess there's a fire going on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the fire truck's coming after me. They know I got those flaming Hot uh, Cheetos that I bought at 7-Eleven. They're like, nah, B, you can't be doing that. Can't be doing it. Five Ultra Balls, that wasn't worth it. That was not worth it. Okay, where is this elevator, dude? Is it on the top level? Like, where... Oh, do I have to go down again? More? Is that a thing? I don't want to battle you. Like, clearly he sees a Charmeleon right there. Like, why would he not be like, oh, wait, what? Is this it? No. 
All right. Well, there's the elevator. So how do I get through? I need to not have a wall blocking me. Do I have to challenge every trainer? Is that it? Uh, I walked right past the elevator because I'm a dummy. So the elevator's right here. There you go. Inside of here. And then probably once we leave, that door will open and we'll be good. But I just didn't realize that's where we needed to go. Any item? Of course there is. There's one little one here. Elixir. That's not... I, don't, I never use elixirs. Um, I think those just restore... Yeah, I know. They just restore the power points, I think. Oh, did we not heal Gorman? Uh, to join Team Rocket. That's what I did. <laughs> you certainly have potential. Oh, you're trying to trick me. No way. So they're going to pay... Uh, use payback for what happened on Mount Moon. Oh, I'm so terrified. Team Rocket, Jesse and James. Uh, Arbok and Weezing. That'll keep you up at night. Um, one of these attacks, I'm pretty sure Vileplume can use attacks, and we should have just healed up before this, but oh well. Um, hmm. Here's a Hyper Potion. Why not? I think we can afford it. I think we're going to be fine. So... Sleep powder. Can we use sleep powder on both? Oh, that would have been wonderful. All right. Razor leaf on both? Yeah, on both. There we go. I don't know how effective that's actually going to be, but the fact that we can attack both of them at the same time because we had to use the heal on Gorman. So that should... I don't know what that's going to do. Oh, a decent amount. Okay. So they might be aiming to get rid of one Pokemon over the other. That did nothing to either of them. Awesome. And that's going to affect Gorman. Oh, no. Yeah, we're not in a good spot. Not in a good spot. Okay. At least for Gorman, that is. So it pretty much negated everything we just did. Great. Okay, so... Um, we'll use... Uh, no, nothing is really super powerful against either of these guys. I'm terrified more so for Weezing. So... Um, we'll go Mega Drain on uh, Arbok. I feel like... I, I mean, neither of them are going to be super affected by it. But, yeah, I mean, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to have to use our boy, Ezro, Dapper Ezro. Going to do the job for us. Mega Drain, decent amount, you know. Recovers a, a little bit of HP, I guess, that we didn't need. But, you know. Now, using Thunder on Lightning and the Thunder on um, either of these guys is going to do a ton of damage. So at least we have that to look forward to. Looking super swag. Um... I don't, I don't like wheezing. I don't like the way wheezing is looking at me. You know what I mean? just don't like it. So now we're going to use that on, I guess, wheezing. So what will happen is if, if we kill wheezing with the shot, and we do not, actually. Um, but if we did, it instead wouldn't still aim for wheezing. It would just default to Arbok. So it's not like if you aim at the Pokemon, it would um, negate what happened. It would still aim at a Pokemon, just not the one that fainted, obviously, so. Alright, 550 for both of us, that's great. Um, this is pretty much gonna do it for, um, oh no, wait, hold on. Just in case it changed, let's go over here and just make sure. It shouldn't, though, but you never know. We'll see what happens here. Hey, we'll see if, uh, it aims. Will that destroy Arbok? Uh, no, it won't. So let's see. Oh, now it avoided it because we have a, a good thing. Yeah, so see, it defaults to Arbok because, yeah, Weezing's not there. So what we're going to do is heal up all of our Pokemon as much as we can to go into this next battle the best way that we can, which is as much health as possible. But actually, what we should do is keep uh, Ezreal in the front because having uh, Gorman in the front, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, Pikachu is going to be a lot more effective. Eek. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Bye. Cool. All right. So I guess even though uh, Gorman's fainted, he still can walk around just fine, which is good. All right. And we'll use the Super Potion. And we have a Paralyzed Heal. Luckily, we haven't needed a ton of any of these types of heals. So uh, we're going to switch Ezro to the front. 
Just like... Nope, not like that. There we go. Uh, la, 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 la. Move Pokemon to this way. Cool. That should be the order we go in anyways, so... Hello, Pokeballs. Oh, there's two. Just one look at this Sylph scope and it's plain to see. Sylph code definitely has the technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. <laughs> a machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy, still. It could work. So it looks like... Oh, hi, Mr. Blue-haired dude. Listen in our conversation without saying a word. How do you not hear somebody like walking behind you in a building when there's just two of you like he wasn't even trying to be stealthy about it it just happened whatever so Ezra I'm gonna try to get rid of these guys ASAP because I think so Giovanni is the boss we have to do one after the other I'm gonna go thunder hopefully it lands and it does wonderful let's see oh yeah summon it from the sky almost almost so we're gonna use Thunderbolt next. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, we're gonna use Thunderbolt now. Because that's gonna do enough damage to take him out, I think. Right? Yes, it does. Great. Awesome. Wonder Bar. I'm gonna move my. Move a little bit over this way. So it's not obstructing my view. Doom to 34. I like where everyone's at level wise now. I'm liking this. They all use Golbat. They all use the same thing. They all use the same exact stuff, dude. Every single time. Uh, Thunderbolt, uh, yeah, Thunderbolt should take care of you, because you're a flying type, super effective, super effective, ooh, just a smidge, just a smidge, but he's paralyzed, ooh, and Crunch still snuck through, okay, great, and defense is down too, right, yeah, it did, um, we'll go Thunderbolt, that has a hundo, hundo percent chance of landing, and there it is, great, I knew you could do it, I knew it. Yay. 523 up to level 35. 30, 30, 35. So if we can't evolve our Pikachu, clearly then our rival couldn't evolve his Eevee, right? Because it's the same partner Pokemon deal or close to it. For forgive me, Giovanni, for me to be defeated by a simple child. That's definitely his voice. That's absolutely his voice. Oh, we can do things before we encounter Giovanni. Awesome. So, the medicine pocket. Oh, we don't need a revive. We just need a duper potion. Duper potion number one. There it is. That's all we need. We're good. We're not going to faint. We're fine. So, hi, Giovanni. Give me this Cubone. So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures food of cap. I, th I thought it's a capture food. Captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I'm the leader of this enterprise. Giovanni, with a shaved head and Cubone, hates me. What? You want me to re release Cubone? <laughs> <laughs> That's how he laughs. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if somebody actually laughed that way. Alright, <laughs> Giovanni. He's got the evolved form of Meowth Persian, who is a uh, uh, piece of cake because you just use Brick Break because he's a normal type. Or Double Kick, rather. Double Kick is fine, too. It's another. Oh, we might flinch. Yeah, we flinched. Oops. Well, that'll happen sometimes. That actually doesn't do that much as much as I thought. Okay. Super duper effective. Hmm. 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 Interessante. Do we take a... No, we're not risking biscuits right now. We're good. Uh, give me a critical. Give me a critical. Give me a critical. Ah, uh, not quite. That's all right, though. We're all good. Slash, and we're still good. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, we'll keep with the double kick. Sure. We're going to go first no matter what. Oh, no. Persian went first the first time. He got the uh, the fake out. So I could have been wrong about that. But luckily, I'm not. 539. Gorman's got to level up. Rhyhorn. Ent interesting. 
Why am I so like? It's a, it's a hat. It's making me seem all goofy. Normally, don't I don't I never wear a hat like this. So I'm like doing seven thousand voices, I guess. Um, I have a feeling it's not effective because he's a is he a rock or a ground type or both? He might be both. So come on and slam and welcome to the jam. Oh, awesome! Of course. Eh, we could have survived by one. That would have been great. Um. Hmm. Gorman? Maybe? Oh. Let's see. Uh, Dragon Rage should work. Right? No. Oh, we're out of power points. Oh, boy. First time that's happened. Oh, that is super effective. Why didn't I use that the first time with uh, Ezra? <gasps> well then. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Achacha. -cha. Alrighty then. Uh, Gorman's got to take the L. Alright, brick break him. Get the crit. Nope, of course not. Ouch. That's tough. Ouch. But, see, because we built the relationship with Gorman and, you know, he survived. He toughed it out, like I mentioned a while ago. A little toughing out thing. That That's proof of it right there. So we're still good. It's just the typing matchup for the Team Rocket Pokemon isn't great because we still don't have a water type, which I know what water type we're going to use. I just haven't encountered it yet. And I think these type of moves are awful. Oh, never mind. It's super effective. Why didn't I know this? Why Why am I... See, I should have a chart up that tells me all the typing matchups, but I feel like that's cheating. But I feel like I should do it. So maybe I will do it. I'll have it as my wallpaper or have it like in a second window over here. What? This can't be! The 5,600? Five, 5, that's all you can give me? I need more shades, baby. <laughs> need more swaggy shades. So I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that Cubone. Meh. <laughs> Cubone's like, meh. And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. So he gave me the self scope. It's like this grown man is like, oh, I, I'm, it's my fault. I'm sorry. But you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I feel like he's like a Wilson Fisk kingpin type. But I hope we will meet in battle again. I feel like it's required of the story we do. So, okay. So now that we have the Sylph Sculpt, uh, Cubone headed back to Lavender Town. Maybe with the skill, Sylph Sculpt, you'll be, uh, you'll be able <laughs> to identify that coast. So basically, we got to go all the way back to Lavender Town. I'm going to end off the episode here. Next time I see you lovely people of the internet, we um, I can't play anymore? Okay, sure. Uh, we're going to go to Lavender Town, go to the top of the um, Lavender Tower, and see what that uh, Pokemon is. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in. I'll see you next time for more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on the Nintendo Switch very soon. Peace out. Bye.